My name is PC Adeleye Fayemi. I am a co-founder and board member of the African Women's Development Fund and I'm also the wife of the governor of Ikiti State, Nigeria. Last week we heard the news that senators in Nigeria, as they were amending, as they were putting forward amendments for um, the new constitution that the country has been working on, decided to vote against the minimum age of marriage for Nigerian girls. I, when I heard the new news, I didn't even know what to say. I was shocked, I was um, astounded, and quite frankly, disgusted. I can't believe that a thing like this can happen in Nigeria in the year 2013. Nigeria is a signatory to CEDAW, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Nigeria has also ratified the Africa Protocol on Women's Rights, as well as the 1989 Convention on the Rights of the Child. Locally, this is known as the Child Rights Act, or in places where it has been domesticated, the Child Rights Law. There are many other um, international, regional, and local conventions, policies, and agreements that Nigeria is a signature to. All these um, Conventions are supposed to guarantee the human rights and dignity of all citizens, especially women and girls. So I do not understand how in this day and age, um, a number of um, lawmakers about the highest decision making, one of the highest decision making bodies we have in the country can get together and say it is okay for young girls at uh, the age of 10, 11, 12 to marry simply because that is uh, what some people be, um, believe to be the culture regional tradition of the place. The Vienna Human Rights Declaration of 1993 speaks very explicitly about the fact that the human rights, um, people's human rights are inalienable, indivisible and inviolable. So we cannot in this day and age be using religion, culture and tradition as an excuse to deny people of their human rights. Many of us who have been fighting in social justice movements for many years have fought for the dignity and respect of all human beings in our respective countries. We have fought for good governance, we have fought for accountability, and we have fought for the rights of citizens, for them to be respected. So I do not see any reason why um, in 2013 Nigerian girls should be singled out to be doomed to lives of misery, lives of suffering, and lives of um, you know, being second-class second citizens. I would therefore like to call on all well-meaning Nigerians, wherever they are, particularly Nigerian women, let us rise and say a resounding no to this. Let us ensure that as this constitution is being amended, we have a constitution that really speaks to the yearnings of Nigerian women. Which, um, which will enable us to say we want to be protected, we want our girls to be protected, our daughters have dreams, our daughters have aspirations, and these will not be taken away from them just because some people want uh, to, um, just because some people want a laws that will favor their own personal circumstances or how they understand the law to be interpreted. So I'd like all of us to rise up and say no to this and insist that our girls should be able to live lives of dignity and respect.